Martin Lawrence. Any mail? No. But I did manage to get my hands on a New York Tribune. What are they saying about us now? Well, not much about us. I mean, that is this army here in Stoneman Switch. You sure are kicking up a fuss about Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation. Oh, it says here that enlistments are down and desertions are up. Any grumbling among the men? Uh, not in our regiment. I mean, there are a few wondering out loud about why they should be risking their lives for the darkies. Well, Tom, you know my position. I signed up to preserve the Union, but I think the president did the right thing. What's the use of uniting the country by force and leaving slavery in place? <laughs> I'll sure rile up those Johnny Rebs. I mean, they're going to think old man Lincoln incited the slaves just to rise up against them. Well, why shouldn't they? Freeing the slaves wasn't a war aim when this all began, but war changes things and sorts things out. Well, I don't know, Lawrence. I mean, not everybody feels the way we do about the darkies, especially when it comes to fighting and dying. Tom, do me a favor. Don't call me Lawrence. And don't call Negroes darkies. That's a patronizing expression from which we must free ourselves. Yeah. Come outside. I want to, uh, I want to show you something. these thousands of men, many of them not much more than boys, each one of them, some mother's son, some sister's brother, some daughter's father, each one of them a whole person, loved and cherished in some home far away. Many of them will never return. An army is power. Its entire purpose is to coerce others. Now, this kind of power cannot be used carelessly or recklessly. This kind of power can do great harm. We have seen more suffering than any man should ever see. And if there is going to be an end to it, it must be an end that justifies the cost. Now, somewhere out there is the confederate army they claim they are fighting for their independence for their freedom now i cannot question their integrity i believe they are wrong but i cannot question it but i do question a system that defends its own freedom while it denies it to others to an entire race of men i will admit it tom war is a scourge but so is slavery it is the systematic coercion of one group of men over another. It has been around since the book of Genesis. It exists on every corner of the world. But that is no excuse for us to tolerate it here when we find it right before our very eyes in our own country. As God is my witness, there is no one I hold in my heart dearer than you. But if your life, or mine, is part of the price to end this curse and free the Negro, 